Yes, all the goodies and all the lovely, lovely things are on display just for you to get into the Valentine's mood. And today we have Auntie Pat. Auntie Pat is joining us this morning to show us practical ways, uh, you know, to make Valentine's more festive. So she's going to be showing us how to wrap our own Valentine's gifts. Um, now, I'm basically showing my husband right now how he needs to wrap my own gift for me. I don't know about you that's watching right now, but I need him to learn a thing or two, and Auntie Pat is here to do just that. So, Auntie Pat, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Auntie Jimmy. What are we using today to do our gift wrapping? Well, to do our gift wrapping, first and foremost, we need um, the gift box. Okay. We need a pool ball. Okay. We need a ribbon. You can either use a ribbon or the pool ball to do it. Okay. You need a wrapping sheet. Okay. Uh, uh, do we need glue? Filler. Well, for what we're doing now, we don't need the glue. Okay, all right. Yeah, but we need a cello tape. Okay. Yes. Okay, And the filler. So this filler is basically, it's like a tissue paper. Yeah, the tissue paper to put uh, all right. in this. So this is just a basic gift box that we're wrapping today. Yes, ma'am. All right. So uh, what are we doing first? Yeah, first we you put your filler in. So the paper goes straight in the box? Yes, and okay. then your you petals. You can put petals in you there. Can Don't put worry, I will if do you that. Want to. Okay. I'll do that. Then I'll you get that. your gifts, depending on the gift you want to put. But for this, we want to make a gift hamper. Okay. So we have the different gift items, the wine, the chocolates. Okay. For a guy, I would prefer to use this chocolate. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So what's this? What's in this? I think this looks like towels. Yes, it's a towel, face towel, okay. bouquet of face towels. All right. So you put that in there. In there. Okay. You put in your wine bottle. Okay. Depending on the wine you choose. We have the red wine and the alcohol, then the okay. chocolates. All right. The idea is to make sure that everything is showing. Okay, you know, so. so I can see you're leaning it, you're turning them up like this. Yes. So, uh, all right, fantastic. So it's showing now. Yes. And can, then, I, can I still fit more in there? Yes, whatever you want to fit in. Okay. The roses, but usually I prefer my rose to show outside. So oh. they are getting the rose first. So okay. after the wrapping. Okay. This is a, What's this? Uh, these are perfume, perfume. perfume sachets. Yes, for your cupboard okay. or for your shoes. You can put that in there too to lift mm. up the gifts. All right. So now I've noticed that we can't really put the cover of the box back. What do no. I do with the cover of the box? Usually it's either you use it, you put it behind or under. Yeah. Uh -huh. so I Underneath see, or behind to lift it up. I can like see it's here, behind here yeah. you put it behind. You, yes. you glued it behind or you tacked it behind. That's true. All right, all right, that looks nice. That looks very and nice. And please let's not also forget our little teddy teddy bear yes. oh it's so cute <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so now how do i package this and make this look presentable hold on hold on let me help oh so this this particular paper now it doesn't have any color on it was there a particular reason why you chose this particular type of paper? yes yes so that um all the gifts you know presentation you have to see what you want first. Okay. You first love in with the eyes. Okay. So that everything is transparent. It's called a transparent gift wrap. Alright. It's either we use this or we use the the tool. tool. They both yeah the white okay. tool. They both serve the same purpose. Alright. So um, if I use this okay so okay I really like this. Yeah, you can use it instead of the teddy or you use it as a base okay. for your gift item. So how are you going to tack this together now? Are we using tape or are we using ribbon? The uh, pool ball. The pool ball, okay. Yes. I used to use pool balls as a child. My mom used to show me Every all child pool loves balls. to pull it. <laughs> I love it. Can I do the pulling now? Yes, ma'am. Oh, just, just love the way it comes together. Whoever designed this, amazing person. All yeah, right. it's just easy instead of going all the way and using your ribbon. Okay. So, so now, after pulling the pool ball, you take the ball around. Right. All right. Are you tying the pool ball first? If you choose to, but because of the way I'm going to knot it, mm -hmm. I'd rather stay without tying it. Okay. All right. No problem. All right. I can see you've tied it around the bottle there. Yeah. 
all that. Yeah, it's really secure there. Oops. Fabulous. Don't worry, go ahead. Keep going. No, keep going. I can't have, can I have another pogo? Oh, we need another pogo. Okay, we lost that one. Mm. I actually love to make my bow myself because it gives you the sizes you want. Wow. Okay. But for the purpose of time. Fabulous. Let me help you with the gathering of the bag now so you can wrap it around. For you to accessible. secure it, you can also just use a ribbon to tie it first. Okay. Before using the bow. Okay. And also the cello tape okay. to hold it in place. Fabulous. Now I want to do the Nigerian <laughs> thing and put it in my teeth, but I won't do that. <laughs> Not on I will. <laughs> I will so use this. Thank you. This way, please. Fabulous. Thank you. Got it. You need more? Yeah. I'm the cello tape provider. No. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's get that ribbon on as quickly as possible. I'll tape it down while you get the ribbon on. Meanwhile, this is just for hampers. We have various <coughs> ways of packing gifts. Okay. The gift boxes. This looks very, very sweet, I have to say. But I have so many questions about other ways we can gift wrap. Yes. And my sweet tooth is going crazy right now because of all the chocolate up here. 